Okay, so I am going to show you, like to slow it down a little bit, and this is about navigation and a little bit of styling. So at the moment, my amazing website, I've taken it back one, um, the live preview. My website is just very simple, fishing site. So it says this is a fishing site up top there and color red on the H1. Now I have got my main.css linked in and notice that it is main.css because my style sheet is called main.css. Now this um, is important um, because uh, you have to have the same case and name as whatever your style sheet is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put navigation into the four pages for my website. I'm going to have a home page, I'm going to have an about page, I'm also going to have a fishing spots page and I'm also going to have a fishing gear page. So those are the pages on my website. So and I want to have a nav horizontal navigation across the top of my website. Now to do this I'm going to jump onto internet and I'm going to go to W3 schools and I'm going to have a look at um, horizontal navigation and um, this is the link there um, W3 schools CSS CSS navbar horizontal now I quite like this one here um, and it gives me the code there you can have a look at active there's different ones like this um, actually that one's not too bad I might have a look at that and what I'm going to do is when I find the one that I like so this is quite nice I'm gonna go try it yourself and what this does is it gives me the style and it gives me the HTML so I'm actually going to grab the style I don't grab the styles tag I'm going to grab all of this up to the bottom style tag copy it and I'm going to put it into my main.css so main.css is getting quite large and then I'm going to grab the entire contents of the this list here from the body tag here so I'm going to grab that and I'm going to put it above my tag here then just to um, format it a little bit nicely um, and you might notice that Line, this line here um, it goes over two lines that's because um, my screen or my font is large so it's just wrapping it around so just be aware of that um, it is on one line like that um, so if I preview that so I go back over here and back here you can see I've got that now a couple of things I don't like the font and they're the wrong pages so I'm going to fix the pages first because it's about navigation and if I get enough time I will go into fixing the fonts but that will probably be the third video which will be about fonts and styling and things like that so navigation so I've got my home page um, I'm going to have a fishing spot um, fishing spots, fishing gear. So those are the pages. Now I need to link them to something so I need to have a spots.html and that's empty at the moment and a gear.html that's empty at the moment and I also need to have an about.html. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have a look at my index page and what I essentially want to do is I'm going to fix up my navigation and then I'm going to put that on every single page. So my link to my home page will be index.html um, link to my fishing spots will be spots.html and notice there's no slash or hash in front of it it's just the page my gear will be gear.html and my about is going to be about.html um, and I will 
talk about this class active in a second um, because that's going to change on each page. So my index page, um, this is my index page and I've got the A about as the active one. I'm going to remove that and put that see it's in the a tag so in here space class is active so it's gone from there so it's saying that the home page is active now this is going to be the main sort of layout for my website so i'm going to select everything and i'm going to double click on about open it and paste it there and then i'm going to move my class active to my insight just after the href class active for about and I'm going to do select all copy I'm going to do the same for gear and this will be I'm going to move the actives class active to my gear so gear is now my active page select it all copy it and I'm going to go to spots paste it and I'm going to move my class active, cut that, and class active there. So when I preview this, I should get something like that. And I should be able to click to home, fishing spots, fishing gear, and about. Oh, it cannot get about because I didn't put, look, look at that, I made a mistake. So it's telling me I made a mistake about dot html so i didn't put that dot html um, so i'll fix that up refresh and it's going to be an error because that is not on there like it's on my index page so you should get your um uh, you should get your navigation working before you copy and paste it so I made a mistake by not putting the dot HTML and I copied that to all the pages so I have to fix it up on all pages so I've just fix that up so I go back to my home page and I should be able to click about and it's my about page fishing page so and part of your website testing is I actually test all the links off most of the pages so I should be able to do that now it says fishing site on all the pages um, so index page this is my home page i'm just putting that in to um, indicate that about page i'm going to say about page and gear is my gear page and my spots page is spots so um and they should so about page about fishing gear spots and home page so that navigation is working um, and everything is linked into my style sheet here so if i <coughs> want to change the background color um, body background color and i might do a dark uh, gray semicolon at the end refresh that and let's start great now i'm going to go through um, styling and um, making the fonts and colors in the next <coughs> um, video and the last one will be putting images in there as well so that's, this has been fairly short um, and it's just about getting your navigation working um, in the images one we're going to put a banner above the navigation and we're going to put some images and text around so um, those will be coming out um, soon and hopefully this has been helpful to get your navigation working and make sure that you actually um, before you submit or anything like that you actually test your website so um, didn't know how to do navigation sort of know a little bit about styles um, we're going to play around with these a little bit um, showed you how to get help like so I searched on W3 schools um, I want a horizontal navigation 
Um, and then navigation systems, no, that's uh, add, don't want ads, lots of ads, CSS horizontal navigation, and then I found one that I liked, um, I think it was this one, um, could do with little borders between them, fix, do them at the bottom, um, do it grey, changing colours, all those sort of things. Um, so there's lots of different examples, like even how to, how do I do that? Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, so I could click try it yourself, and it actually shows you the um, code to do that. But we're not going to go through those. Like it's try something, and if you get stuck, ask for help. So. Um, our website's going to be fairly standard. I don't like the fonts, but we'll fix that next time. So thank you for watching.